Well, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So I thought it would be fun to go through the freestyle filters a little bit on NVIDIA's GeForce Now. I've done this a little bit on PC. I'm actually working on another kind of fun uh, video using the freestyle filters on PC, but um, I, I had mentioned in a previous video, I had a little bit of trouble getting uh, my app to update for NVIDIA GeForce Now to get to the, uh, the newest update that has the freestyle filters. I did manage to get that uh, yesterday finally and I was able to check those out for myself and I was really surprised um, to see that they're very very similar in feature to the PC version of freestyle and the filters and while mostly useless it can be kind of fun to play around with them and um, also to uh, I was surprised that the sharpen filter was also here which is pretty cool and I want to talk about why uh, I really like seeing NVIDIA's Sharpen filter on here. Uh, so for the fun of it, let's just open up Darksiders Genesis here. And with this game open, we will go through and take a look at some of the filters. And, um, and we'll take a look at that Sharpen filter. And hopefully in the video, it'll come out the way I want it to. Uh, like I've done previous videos on PC, using it to get more performance in uh, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, using the Sharpen filter and lowering, lowering your resolution. Uh, in a similar way, getting a 1080p 60 stream uh, with GeForce Now is nice, but if you're on a 1440p monitor or a 4K monitor, um, or you happen to be on something else, maybe your TV, it can be nice to be able to use that Sharpen filter to make it look as though you've got a little bit crisper resolution, even though you don't. Nothing is as good as native, of course, but it, um, it can definitely help. It can definitely make things a little less blurry, and NVIDIA has a fantastic sharpen filter and i've used it a lot in control as well now they've crisped up that game a little bit control used to be a very blurry game when it first came out um a lot of issues with textures and view distances and things like that they've corrected a lot of that with some updates but with a little bit of sharpen filter it also makes control uh more playable but let's see if we can't go ahead and get ourselves past here and i want to jump into an actual just go ahead and jump into one of my actual games where we'll Please check out the Sharpen filter try. more. Alright, so here we are inside of our options. You can see uh, we're full screen now. If you're not already aware, GeForce uh, now will set these uh, graphic settings on you. So when you, if you change these and come back in, they will more often than not be changed back to their defaults, and that's with pretty much every game. So I'm not going to bother changing anything here right now, because um, if I do, it's just going to wind up back here. But these are the settings that NVIDIA's uh, putting into this game uh, for default. So let's just go ahead and jump into my uh, my game that I have going here. Alright, so I'm just going to move us to a little bit better spot here to check out the filters. Um, if you haven't played Darksiders Genesis, this is actually a, a really good game. It was on sale for 20 bucks um, on Steam. And uh, I played the other Darksiders games. I really enjoyed those a lot. But um, there's something about this gameplay style that... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 that I really enjoy. So, ah, all right, put me where I need to be. Let's hop over these guys, get rid of them real quick. Let's stand in the poo, and yeah, that's okay. That's all right. We got our boy here. All right. So, anyways, while we're chilling here, I don't want to get too involved. I will. I will wind up just sitting here and playing. So, now that when you're in your game, you're gonna do your um, you're gonna do your Control G, and that's gonna bring up your GeForce Now menu, your gallery. You can record your screenshots, and now you've got your added game filter. So, here we are. We've got um, no filters on right now. Now, when I looked at this, I was surprised. I there were more filters in here than I expected. This is very, very similar to Freestyle on PC. Um, so you've got your typical black and white right here. 
so no problem there. I mean, I don't think I would choose to play a game that way. Like I said, most of these filters are kind of useless, but I mean, they have their uses. I have done some black and white Call of Duty. I'm actually going to make a game, um, or make a game, make a video uh, playing Call of Duty using all the freestyle filters on PC, and I think that's going to be kind of fun. But yeah, so that's just your black and white. And we're not going to go through all of them this way. It'll take forever, but I just want to show you some. As we go, uh, as we go in here, go back into your filter. Now you can set three different ones. This is very similar to PC as well, and you could name these if you want. And you can have like preset filters ready to go. So if there are fun things you like to do with certain games, you can have that already set up, uh, ready to go. And you also get the same kind of adjustments and sliders and things that you get on PC as well. So that was pretty cool that you can do a lot of adjustments um, to your filters here. So that's back to just everything being regular. We've got color. So this is the color filter usually just tries to add more color and then you get tint options. Um, now one thing I have noticed with um, the freestyle filters on GeForce Now versus PC is they can tend to take a little bit longer to take effect. So when you're in here adjusting things, um, you might have to give it give it just like a little bit. Um, it's not as quick and instant as it is on PC, uh, but it is through the cloud. So I mean, it's kind of to be expected. Um, details so this is gonna really you can see really like brighten everything up and sharpen everything and bring it out um, don't really think uh, let's go full screen with that for a second I really don't think this is necessarily the way to go either but it's there it's still cool that they brought these to GeForce now I like seeing the options so look I'm already trying to figure out because I'm gonna see I just okay let's just let's just stay here doing filters because I'm just gonna start playing the game all right Control G again, let's get rid of this one. And I'm just removing them, it's a little bit easier for me. All right, so, uh, letterbox there again. Maybe if you were making a cool video, you might wanna do something like that, or you're making like an intro to something that could be cool for some of your gameplay or something else that you're, you're up to. But, um, you know, there again, most of these aren't super useful, but, um, you know, I'll go through them so that you don't have to night mode so what night mode does and you can't see it as much um, in this game in this particular but it warms everything up a little bit let me see if I can and you've got your intensity so let's see if that'll change see how it gets more yellow and yellow in in the tint and then less so you get the warmer picture that's what night modes usually do anyway they give you that warmer uh, more yellow uh, picture it's the same thing Uh, we've got old film. This one's actually kind of cool. I, uh, I've, it, it reminds me of Cuphead. So I was, uh, I was playing some Call of Duty uh, gunfight the other night, and I just put this old film mode on on PC, and and it was actually, it was actually kind of interesting. A lot of fun. I died a lot, but all right. So that's your old film mode there. You can just see all the little, all the little things going on here. Let's Control G that. Get out of that. And here again, same thing. You've got tons of options here that you can do for how you want to control that filter. If that's something that you want to want to get into and mess with there. We've got Painterly, which um, another fun one to play an FPS game on. But yeah, so I mean, this almost looks almost makes it look like an older game as well. It um, it gives me a headache if I play. If I play with that too long, but it's cool. And it also depends on the game. So if I was going through a bunch of different games, like actually this kind of looked cool on uh, Man Eater in the water and whatnot. So kind of depending on the game too, might be depending on if any of these filters uh, look any better or worse uh, or anything like that. But definitely uh, depend, totally game dependent on Painterly for sure if it, if it looks any good. So let's continue on here. We've got Remove HUD Beta. I haven't actually had this work. So it didn't work at all. And I, I don't know if that's supposed to... You guys let me know if you've had any luck with what the HUD remover... Uh, what remove HUD actually does. I haven't actually gotten it to do anything in any of the games on PC or GeForce now that I've tested it on. My assumption was it would somehow magically re like remove the HUD if you wanted to do that real quick. But I haven't had, had it work. Special effects. You can see the coloring change here. So it's going to be kind of... Um, you got a lot more bluish tint. A little different... 
different look to all of the colors. It's supposed to make it look a little bit more special effects looking, but there again, a lot of this is just completely useless. There we go. All right, moving on here. Let's see if we can't get through these for you. Next filter would be. I skipped sharpen for a reason. We're going back to that. Split screen. Um, there again, you guys let me know about split screen. PC and on GeForce Now, I've I've not had had much luck with anything with that. Maybe there's something I'm, I don't know about that that filter, so we'll see. Tilt shift, uh, that's going to be a blur, like a blur effect. You can see how it's, <clears throat> and this also is a, kind of an effect from like old style games. So like you would see focus areas and then like more blur. So less things would be rendered in detail and that would help with the other, with other games. But um, this here again, this can be kind of a, a filter that give you a headache as well. You can change the axis on this thing, the blur size, blur curve, all that kind of stuff as well might be something that would work for some games that you might be interested in but that would be your your tilt shift and yet let's check that out so what that's going to do is darken your edges we can do a little bit more intensity and then you can just see the the darkening around the edges of the screen there so that's another one that if you're wanting to set a certain mood for a game that you're playing this one actually has a little bit more use because you can you can kind of set a little different mood for depending on what you're doing um, maybe not super useful but for some games or some recording or some videos you might be making you might have use for that more than others so the last one we'll look at before I go and talk about sharpen a little bit is watercolor now this one again you've got a lot of different options in here tint tint um, and your tint details your tint intensities uh, paint details paint fuzziness there's a lot of stuff you can come in here and play with if you really really want to get into the watercolor I actually think the watercolor one's pretty cool I've played a few games with this not for a long time but I, I've had it on here and there and played with different settings and intensities and whatnot and um, it's not bad it's kind of cool sometimes and in certain games I think the Witcher 3 was one of them that looked pretty cool um, I might have done this in Battlefield 5 I can't I can't remember but it's not that bad. It's it's kind of a cool filter. Um, works just as well on uh, on PC also. All right. So the last thing we'll look at here, if you're still hanging with me, um, maybe not super exciting, but I figured if I go through these uh, for you, and you'll just kind of see what they look like. So sharpen filter is one of my favorite favorite filters from NVIDIA. They had it for a long time, but they relaunched it like last summer when they redid their freestyle, they redid their sharpen filter. And then you've got your, um, your sharpen and your ignore film grain. So I usually leave this at 15. I might turn it down to like 10. But typically I kind of leave this hanging. Now on the actual sharpen, you can, you can adjust it. So let's take it back down to zero. And this should show up hopefully well enough in the video. I'm recording at 1080p, but I'm on a 1440p monitor. So I can see a big difference uh, when any game is sharpened. So let me go back up to 50. And I'm going to go up to 80. And 100. Now, what I like about NVIDIA's sharpen filter, and it's not just this game. It's in a lot of games. Um, a lot of sharpen filters have a tendency to cause a lot of white jagged line, a lot of white outlining um, and issues with the sharpening, but not so much theirs. This has been a really good, um, let me cast something else for you here too, you see, really sharp. And now take a look at these rocks down on the ground in front of me here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sharpen filter down. Now, like I said, I'm really seeing this on my 1440p monitor. I'm hoping it comes out enough in the video for you. I've made there's another video on the channel really showcasing the sharpen filter used in Call of Duty and the differences that it made. And I'll link that in the description below. Uh, it gives a really good idea about the sharpen filter. But if you just go down to zero and I'm just gonna pop it up. Now you can see that. Hopefully that comes out of it. You can see all the additional detail in the rock and whatnot around you. So it helps my 1080p stream on my 1440p monitor. If I wanna use that sharpening filter now, um, I can really crisp up a lot of that, a lot of that imagery. 
It's just taking a little bit to take effect there because we're in the cloud, but there you go. Come over here. We'll kind of mess around the same. Let's shoot that down to zero. And we'll go back up to 100. And you can just see, I, hopefully you can see that you saw the black kind of come out around these little nodes coming out of this bomb wall area and stuff here. You can see the outline around the wood and the stone up here. I'll take you back down to zero. And I think you're, you get the point. If you, some, some of you may or may not see the, the difference. I mean, sure. But I'm willing to bet most people, especially when you go from zero to 100 real quick, can see the detailed difference in the rocks, the wood, and otherwise. And the point of that is you're not making the graphics of the game better or anything, but if you're streaming a 1080p stream and you're on a monitor that's not 1080p, it does help a lot to sharpen up your game using the sharpen filter. It works great on PC, and now it seems like, surprisingly to me, it's working on GeForce Now as well. I didn't think they would have the sharpen filter in here, but they do. I'm really glad they do. To me, it's the most valuable filter in freestyle. On PC and now on GeForce Now, um, yes, most of the filters are completely useless unless you're doing something fun for a video, recording gameplay a certain way, the filters can be fun. But the Sharpen filter actually has real world uses when it comes to increasing performance on a PC or when it comes to making your GeForce Now stream look a little bit nicer, look a little bit crisper, whether you're on 1440p or 4K, that 1080p stream can look a little better. Even if you're on a 1080p monitor, you might not need to sharpen as much, but you can still crispen up and get those details out a little bit more as well. So if you're a GeForce Now user, check out um, these filters. Um, check, check out anything that you think is interesting with those, but for sure, um, play around with that sharpen filter, and I think you're going to be pretty happy at how your games look um, and not just this game I know this was boring just hanging out in one spot checking out these filters but it was the easiest way for me to do it um, and I will be messing with this some more and like I said I have another PC video I'm making having some fun with the filters and I'll mess with them some more on GeForce Now here every now and then but I think this video pretty much covers it for the most part and if you're using GeForce Now um, do yourself a favor control G and check out that uh, sharpen filter and see what you think. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click that subscribe button down there, ring the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me your comment down below. All those things go a really long way to help the channel, and I really appreciate it. Thanks again for coming to check out the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.